Good evening. Sorry if I startled you. That's not something required by the contract. It's unnecessary. And I don't do anything unless I have to. Then again, sitting in the dark like this, waiting for you to arrive, I guess there was no real way around, was there? Your fear was unavoidable, unfortunately. But frightening you wasn't intentional. Neither was boring you with endless small talk. Forgive me. I'm not accustomed to these theatrics. Why don't you take a seat? That way we can get started. Thinking about making a run for the door? Do I have to remind you about the gun? I'm a very good shot. Of course you well can doubt that to test it even, but I wouldn't recommend it. Thank you. Now, you don't know me. You've never met me before. You certainly haven't heard of me before. But I know you. In a sense. See, you may have guessed it from the pistol. You may have not. But I am an assassin. A hitman, if you wish to use so vulgar of a term. But I've always found that title to be so poorly refined. Anyone can be a hitman. Anyone can use a gun and shoot at someone. But when I do it, it's not violence. It's art. Someone has hired me to kill you. I think you know who that person is. It was not a small sum of money they spent either. It never is when someone hires me. I don't work for cheap. Nor should I. I am an artist, like I said. A complete professional. I never make mistakes. I never flinch. Never hesitate. And I never let my targets know. I'm after them until they are already dead. Usually. See, this is operating out of my usual routine, but the client who hired me specifically requested that I make myself known to you. That I explain what's happening and why it's happening, which I'll get into it shortly. Even if they hadn't asked for an explanation, I would have done so anyways, to make up for this change of my usual procedure. It's what you deserve. It would be impolite not to do so. You see, typically my targets get a quick, clean, painless death, free from fear. Obviously that won't be the case this time. Now, before we start, I want to tell you that this isn't personal. I know that saying is cliche, a line of dialogue Hollywood has run into the ground like so many other things, but in this case, it's the truth. I never knew you until I was hired to kill you. I've never seen your face until you stepped through the door. That though, is your fault. It's your fault for wearing a mask. Your fault for deciding to target my client's business. Your fault for thinking you could do a thing to fix the city. Oh yes, I know all about your nightly outings. I mean, idealistic much. It was only a matter of time until people you were targeting had enough. Only a matter of time till they went to the best to sort this mess out. And that's what they did. Did you think you were safe? Did you really think we wouldn't be able to find out your identity? <laughs> you fool. It was never going to end well. It never does in this place. You should have seen this coming. Again, it's nothing personal. But in a way, it is. I wouldn't have taken this job without getting paid, of course. I don't go pro bono. But I think if I'd read the paper and seen that you've been shot, I would have laughed. What makes you think you can do what you do? 
what makes you think you could stand against those more powerful than you and spit in their faces? And what made you think it wouldn't end well this way for you? It's insane. Perhaps a disorder of some kind? Maybe they'll diagnose you and put it on your gravestone. Or maybe it's sheer stupidity. I thought the way you did once. I wasn't thinking of heading down the same career path as you. I've always had a knack for this sort of thing. But I thought I was better than the city. That I could ignore its calling. I thought I wouldn't let it drag me down. But look how that turned out. This place. It's like a black hole. Sucks everything down to its level. You either leave, die, get corrupted. There's no fourth option. Of course, we can fight against it, kick and scream as much as we want, but eventually... Sucks us in. That's what happened to me. And that's what's about to happen to you. In a different fashion. Ah, I can see the judgement in your eyes. The look that says you think you're better than me. But look at it this way. I'm not the one about to die, am I? <laughs> it's a shame. All the talent and skill you possess. You could have made an excellent assassin. Some of the skills you displayed. They never would have caught you on their own. You could have done this for years, and I doubt a single blade would have touched you. A single gunshot would have never even grazed you. Perhaps that can be a point of pride for you before you go. After all, I don't compliment people very often. Why? Impressing me is rarer than a solar eclipse. So, when I say you're one of the best, I mean it truly. In fact, I'm always tempted to let you go just to see what you might do. But at the same time, I know I can't. It's not just because of what you represent. After all, if you succeed, it'll mean I failed. Not only in my contract, but in my destiny. And we can't have that. Of course. It's also because of my reputation, see? If you were to escape... Well, if I were to let you go, it would be more accurate. It would be a blemish in my career. A stain on a perfect suit. But I can't abide a stain. So I don't hesitate when I do this. Raising my pistol, squeezing the trigger. <laughs> Alrighty, I can see the thoughts in your eyes. Can I disarm them from where I am? It's possible, people have tried it. Some have even gone close. But there's enough space between us that it'll be able to get two shots off, friend. And maybe you'll be able to dodge one of them, but both? No. It's unheard of. Which means your death is certain, the near end, and I'd suggest making peace with whatever god you worship. Come to think of it, it's just as certain, it's the future of the city. Again, this is something my employer requested, but they wanted me to highlight the fact that once you're gone, this place is only going to get worse. There isn't any hope left, if you are it. You won't be around much longer. Just so you know, your family is safe. The contract didn't say anything about them, nor am I revealing your identity. My client wants you out of the way. That's it. Now, take a breath. Accept what's coming. What the? How? How did I miss? I impossible! Do you have any idea how many people have been stood in the same spot that they've had my gun trained on them? I've never missed before. I shouldn't have missed now! 
The city is a cesspool. There's not a thing that can be done for it. This isn't just a fact. It's universal truth. Yet somehow, you, the last representation of hope in this awful, awful place, somehow you survived. Could it be? Was I wrong? It, I must be because now you're holding the gun and I'm the one at gunpoint. Perhaps the tables finally turned. Perhaps the cracks are beginning to show. Perhaps the city has a bright future after all. It doesn't matter. Simply put, I failed my mission. I failed my contract. And I won't live. Can't live knowing that that's the case. Do what you're gonna do. Fix what you're gonna fix. It doesn't matter. Whatever hopeful world you create, it can't have a monster like me in it. <laughs>